What if I told you there's an engine so legendary truckers still argue about it over diner coffee at 3 a.m.? One so durable, it's basically the Chuck Norris of diesel engines? Meet the Caterpillar 3406. But is it really the diesel king it's made out to be, or just a nostalgic heavyweight past its prime? Today, we're tearing into the truth behind the cat, 3406 its origins, the secrets to its cult status, and what they don't tell you before you buy one used. Stick around till the end, because I'm dropping one key insight that even most seasoned gearheads miss. And trust me, it could save you thousands. The meat, history, engineering, and popularity. Let's roll back the clock. The Caterpillar 3406 made its debut in the mid-1970s, part of Cat's mission to dominate the on-highway diesel market. And it did just that, for decades. From the A, B, and C models, all the way to the E series, the 3406 evolved with emission standards, horsepower demands, and the brutal realities of long haul life. Quick pattern interrupt. Wait, ever heard a trucker say, they don't make them like they used to? That guy was definitely talking about the 3406. Think 14.6 liters of raw displacement, forged steel internals, and enough low-end torque to drag a mountain if it got in your way. The 3406E in particular is considered the crown jewel, thanks to its mechanical simplicity married to early ECM tech. That combo? It's like having a flip phone that can also stream Netflix. Reliable but modern enough. And when it came to the dyno? We're talking 600 plus horsepower potential with the right tweaks. These engines love to be tuned. Transition, cliffhanger tease. But here's where it gets interesting, because the very thing that made the 3406 a legend, it also led to its downfall. Stick with me, because in the next 30 seconds, we're diving into what killed the 3406 and why that matters if you're buying or rebuilding one today. The downside, market truth, and final take. 4. 45 to 7 hard. Cat couldn't keep the 3406 compliant without strangling its performance. Enter. The emissions nightmare. The 3406 was phased out, replaced by the C15, and eventually, Cat bowed out of on highway engines altogether by 2010. But here's the kicker. The 3406 isn't just a used engine, it's an investment class. Buyers are snapping them up to rebuild, repower, or drop into gliders. Why? Because parts are still available, the platform is ridiculously mod-friendly, and let's be honest, it's hard to beat that low rumble growl. Urgency moment. But if you're thinking about buying one, time is running out. Good cores are disappearing. Rebuild costs are climbing, and EPA crackdowns are tightening on non-compliant setups. Pro tip. If you're serious about grabbing a 3406, go for a late model E. Avoid heavily tuned versions unless you trust the builder. And always, always, check for liner protrusion and cam wear before sealing the deal. So, is the CAT 3406 still worth it in 2025? For the right setup, absolutely. But it's not a beginner's engine. It's a commitment, a legacy, and possibly your next big win or wallet-burning regret. Want to know the one mod that unleashes hidden performance in a 3406 without risking a blown turbo? I'm covering that in my next video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and drop a comment if you've ever driven a 3406 or if you'd trust one in your build today. Catch you in the next one. Until then, keep wrenching.